Hello ladies and gentlemen, Pork Chopper here. Back again with another live commentary video looking at a certain hero with a specific build. If you haven't already checked it out, I did a Narbas carry build which was, <laughs> I mean honestly quite hilarious. It was quite a tough start to the game, but once I got a few cards in and learnt how to counter the enemy team, I was able to do quite well in the game, but I won't spoil it. it hopefully the thumbnail should be on screen now and it should be linked down in the description below if you do want to check it out. But we're going to go straight into this one, which is going to be an Iggy offlane tank build. Let's. So basically, my plan for this game with Iggy is to make sure I do not make this tier 1 tower fall. If I can do that, I'm happy. I don't care if I lose or win, I want to make sure that this tier 1 tower does not fall. We have a lot of early game cards, which I'm showing now, that make it some very tanky and have a good uh, feeling. And then more mid game, again, I'm just going to be complete about sustain. Is staying in that lane for as long as possible, doing as much as possible to make sure I don't have to back. I have a lot of mana and a lot of health so I can stay and keep this tier 1 tower up. Then I have a card called Brilliant Fortification, costing 4 intellect and a thousand gold, I believe, which is. Um, the main card which basically makes all towers in your team immune if i can get that card i should be fine but that's more mid game so basically if i can hold for the first five minutes i should be fine i'm a big fan of iggy um in the offlane i always play him as this tanky hero and in the mid lane i play him as a standard caster but i really like tanky iggy in this offlane you are just such such a hard opponent to take down they have a phase which has decent poke and a Murdoch, so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. But well, it'll be interesting. So, the first card we actually got was Coin Master. It was a twin Coin Master and Exoskeleton. Exoskeleton basically just reduces damage by 8 uh, from every hit. But the reason I went with Coin Master, I guess, was just to get more gold at the start of the game. I felt with Iggy I could be pretty comfortable at keeping this lane quite under check for the time being. As I know, the first time it's going to be rough until I'm able to get more mid-game cards. And the way you get mid-game cards quicker is having more gold. So that's why I got Coin Master straight away. I'm not worried being a ranged hero that I'm going to get low on health. I have enough gold now if I want to back. But the problem is, I don't want to back until I need to back or else they're not going to threat this tower. If I um, leave this tower unprotected, then that's going to become a problem. Something to also note is that every two minutes siege minion waves spawn which are the biggest waves that can deal damage to towers so every, the third minute and the fifth minute that's when we're gonna have problems so if i can clear those waves uh we should be fine and i should be able to back soon enough oh clary's here oh shit i didn't even i didn't even realize clary was here i was talking so much okay the clary is going on the um phase okay i actually need to back out i have way too little help i can't see is he going to be able to take her down? He's going to at least make her back. I can't help you. I can't. Oh, I made well. Well done, Clary. Great Clary play. I'm trying to save him. I'm trying to put some pressure. I can't go too far because I'm low in health. Oh my god. Okay, more regress, more regress. No, 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 no. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I am out. Are we, are we alive? Are we safe? I also wanted to say that, that they did have a Kalari as well on their team, so we've got to be careful for that. I don't believe this build had anything to counter that, because, you know, I haven't really fought that way ahead. So we're going to get Exoskeleton, which uh, will help basically be a bit more tanky. And then we've got Poised Aggressor, which means every time I initiate in combat, I'm going to get a bit extra power to help. So that's going to, oh, it's always a great card to have as an offlaner because you're going to be in your tower being quite out of combat and when you enter combat you're going to be able to deal extra damage. Just like the card is propped there. Right, we're going to get rid of that siege minion. So, so far we haven't done too bad actually. I thought it would be a lot worse. But we've got our ultimate now because the phase had the back. They couldn't really push this tower. So I'm happy there. I don't think the Murdoch's even backed yet so he's going to have to back soon. But we've only lost like about a fifth of the tower's health five minutes into the game which was the hardest part of this challenge so 
we're going pretty well because I, I do legit mean I want this tier one tower to stay up. I have a really good build for it if I can get there. And so far it does look promising. Uh, as long as we, oh, see, I think the Morgus is trying to come up here. I noticed this Morgus, so we're going to try and do something. I haven't been able to do anything. I want to try and bait them near me. Yep, baited. That mer that I vaulted as well. Absolute dead. Oh my god, if we can get this phase as well, that would be huge. Does she have enough mana for a mark? I don't think she's even going to need it. <gasps> oh no, there's another Morgus. Okay, she's just used to ult and mark, so I should be okay. Please tell me I'm okay. Please tell me. Yep, she, she's backed off. Oof, that could have been a lot closer. But I'm actually happy to back now. Um, quite easily. I don't know what I'm going to get. I may get green sprint for the regeneration out of combat. I may get rid of coin master. I think coin master is the one I'm going to get rid of there. That seems the logical choice. Get green sprint. I have flame of on this deck to help with wave clear, but I, I don't really use it that much. But as you can see, under towers now, if I'm out of combat, I have 16.4 health regen. That's huge. And our towers, I have 14.2 due to green sprint. Of course, when in combat, I won't be getting that regen. That's going to be really nice to stay passive. But I was lucky to back then. I got two assists there on the phase and the Murdoch. I didn't get a kill, but I'm happy the Clary got it because she was clever enough to... No, Morgus, sorry. I was happy both of them were able just to rotate it. And they're coming again. Is that the... They seem to be really aggressive in this lane. That's what I like to see. A Kalari and a good rotating mid lane are always coming in, always poking the enemy team. And that means this has become a lot easier for me. So I'm just looking at it. Uh, I do have Protector Sentry actually. I didn't realise I had that, but that's going to be helpful against Kalari if I want it. But Brilliant Fortification I think is the next big card I want. Brilliant Fortification, like I said, immune. Tower damage is immune for 6 seconds. For my towers, really, really good card. 1,000 gold and 4 intellect needed. Basically, I need one more point into intellect and then 1,000 more gold. And then, so I can buy that point into intellect now when I get the time to. But after that, I should be able to get Brilliant Fortification and that should be sealing and deal. Once I get Brilliant Fortification, guys, we're good. We are good to go. So yep, there we are, I'm going to buy that point into intellect, just a thousand more, and whenever I get the chance to, I'm going to back. So once these two back or something, and like I said again, because I put my turret with the minion wave, they can't really focus it. That's, you know, a nice little tip there. I've got to be careful here, because they do have a seed minion here. But well, it seems they're backing, I why, are they worried someone's going to gank? No one's near them. Maybe they just wanted to get the gold buff. I don't know, interesting. Well, it seems they've sort of given up a little bit at the moment, which I'm happy to see. They haven't done any damage to that tower for a while. I hopefully, end of this minion wait, I should have enough gold. Okay, I missed that last hit. I don't know, I don't want to risk it though. I have no mana, I've got a back. Oh, I'm, that's not on me, surely. I've got a back. I've pushed the wave up enough, I've just got to be quick out the gate. So Lex says they're all allied structures, are immune to damage for 6 seconds, 90 second cooldown, and 75 mana cost. Amazing card. If I'm nowhere near my tower or my tower is about to get pushed, then I can quickly use this card and defend it. But unfortunately, like you can see now, because I don't have Exoskeleton on, that means Phase's Energy Lance does damage, means it slows me. But that's a really good counter to Phase's Energy Lance now. If you have Exoskeleton on in the offlane, that Energy Lance does zero to you now. It will do nothing to you. I didn't even realise that. That's a really good tip there. Against the Phase, use Exoskeleton. The problem we've got to worry about is that it's inevitable that this Murdoch's going to come online. He's going to get multi-shot. He's going to get all the crazy combinations of cards. And it's going to be an absolute clusterfuck. And it's going to be near enough impossible to keep this tower up. But I have high hopes, guys. I will keep this tower up. It is my sworn duty as an annoying Iggy player. I think... Oh, is he coming? He's getting over. He's waiting. We're going to try and help him. Is he going to just get him? Oh, I hope he doesn't die. I'm going to try and help. I think the Morgus is rotating, though. If 
think she is. Yep, she's forward certain. Let's let's move. Let's no. Nope. We're going. Oh oh, you're staying, buddy. Oh, I I shouldn't have stayed there. That was dumb. That was done. That was that was really done. This is done. I'm ulting, please. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm ulting. I'm so. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, no. 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 Oh my god. I am amazing. How did I live that? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> no way. I came from a hero to zero. No. She just had enough mana. I thought she backed. She, I thought she marked someone else. It seems she probably backed. She just had enough mana and ulted me. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. That was amazing though. I was able to ult, kill the Murdoch, because he just did not expect the ult to do that much damage. And then the Kalari ulted under my tower. He thought, oh, I'll be able to kill him. But with my turret, I was just able to slow him down. And I think Kalari was there to help kill him. So even though I died, it was so worth it. Oh my god. But it seems to in mid lane right now. Morrigus, FaZe, and Murdoch are mid lane. We just killed the Morrigus. So it seems I got a chill there. The Wukon is on right lane. Meaning the only threat I'm going to have here. Oh, there's a gold buff. Nice. The only threat I'm going to have is the Kalari. And the Kalari is actually going middle as well. With every time, you've got to look at the map and be aware. Like I said, Morgus is off the field. Wukong's right lane. They're having a big team fight mid lane. Meaning I can push this lane happily. With a big enough wave to hopefully destroy it. But it seems they may be rotating now. Yeah, I, I think they are. I'm going to... I'm going to... Keep it easy. The wave's pushed up long enough to the point it's going to be doing big amounts of damage. I don't want to risk it, really. I'm getting so much regen out of combat. I, I, I just... This has really turned really well. I wasn't sure if I was in the last the first five minutes, but I have. And we have done well. You know, you, you've, got to, you've got to protect your towers. Love it. Oh, oh shit. Uh, that's talking about protecting towers. I completely ignore that device and ign completely ignore my lane and just chill. Oh, this is actually a big of a problem. I may need to use this card. I'm going to use it. And as you can see, it's taking absolutely zero damage. My Kalari's coming as well. No, it's Morgus. Never mind. Absolutely amazing there. That tower would have probably taken a half of its health down if I didn't use that card right there. What that card did was, the, the tower for 6 seconds took 0 damage and I was able to clear the siege minion out. The Morgus was rotating in, meaning they were really confused, like why is this turret not, why is this tower not taking any damage? Morgus was able to come in, deal damage to them, they had to back off. And that card right there showcases how really good it is. Oh man, that was amazing. It has a low cooldown as well, and not that much of a mana cost. But like I said, it seems they've got Moly shot now. It's, it's almost inevitable that it's going to go, isn't it? Maybe. Oh, we've got a big rotation. We've got a big rotation coming on. God, this team, they look like our team's like almost a pre-made with the way they're rotating. Of course, I'm playing by myself. Solo queue. But it seems this team's really on point with their rotations here. They understand that, you know, if an Eevee can get to that mid to late game, he can just be unstoppable. Because their tower's almost down and my tower's like half health. Oh no no, is it domed down? I've gotta use I've gotta use this card. I'm using Brilliant for Fortification. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to not make it take any more damage. It's still taking damage, is it gonna live? What health's it at? Oh, it's not bad health-wise. Wow. I think I I thought I used Brilliant Fortification way too late, but apparently not. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna get them, right? Nah, we we bat them off. That tower's so low. I should just set turrets up here. But like I said, uh, the, my Iggy's passive does not um, um, affect Stagnant Dominion, the slow. Oh, hang on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's one down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Surely she's dead. She's dead. Oh, shit. Clarus is coming to the action. Oh, look at that drop shot. She's so low. Oh, she died. She died. They're not jumping down. I don't know where that Kalari went. He may be dead. 
I think he's dead. I think the Clara is dead. Ooh, wow, that was one hell of a tense. Oh my word. But like I was saying, I don't believe um, Iggy's passive affects Stagnant Dominium at all. I think what affects it is Iggy's turret, but also affects um, enemies, so that includes enemy minions. As you can see here, Stagnant Dominion isn't proccing as you can't see it on screen. Um, but we use this card, Stagnant Dominion, study procs. It even procs on, like I said, minions, it procs on any enemy at all, which is quite nice. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Let's ult you, man. All right, what you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I regret, I regret saying what you've got. I'm, I'm out. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. I need to just back now. I need to back. They're gonna defend this tower. I should back. I really should. What? I don't know. They're actually gonna rotate this lane. I feel I just gotta throw a few turrets down. I should be getting enough regen. I've got 9.3 regen right now. I should leave and be. Oh my god, man. I don't know how I lived that. Stagment Dominion must have helped me so much against that Kalari. Because once I ult, uh, my turrets already have um, a slow. Once I ult. So add that with Stagment Dominion, and it's a really, really big slow. I don't even know why I'm still here, but why the hell not? I want to push it as far as I can before I have to back. So the tower is as safe as possible. Well, yes, you really should retreat. Yeah, you, you gotta know your boundaries. Like, like I said, our combat right now, I'm getting 15 regen to the green sprint. Amazing card. I was so low on health and suddenly I'm about around 3 quarters health. Amazing card to have. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh dear. No, you're dead. Oh, damn, she died. Okay. The lane should be pushed up though, I need to back straight away before they can do anything else. They should be more worried about my team attacking them and the tower. So what are we going to get now? I didn't think we would really get this far in this challenge. We get Mana Fountain which is, just helps with my mana regen. We're going to... Oh, we should get that for the damage reduction. Yeah we should get that for the damage reduction. I don't think I really need anything else. I, I feel happy at the moment. I got Brilliant Fortification, I like it. I got Green Spin for the health regen, which I'm really a big fan of. I just got a few gems to help with my mana regen, which is huge. I'm now getting 7.5 out towers and 8.1 inside towers, which is a huge boost for me as mana was a big problem. And I got Stagnant Dillon to help with slows, which is awesome. Oh, hello. You didn't expect that to happen, did you? Alright, she's, she's not gonna come on. Don't, don't live, 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 live. Oh my god. Oh my god. I honestly think he. Did he hit my. Yeah, he hit my tower, I think. He hit my turret instead of the Clary because I put the tower just in the way. Didn't do it on purpose, but it still helped. Now, like I said, from going from the mid game to late game, we go from a. You know, sustainable, really annoying off laner. We go now into a more of a caster is deck with the slows with the extra damage to really be just not about pushing waves but actually be a team fight problem for the enemy team and we've got plenty of cards to help me there it just depends what i really want to buy but i'm just going to go and load into intellect I, I don't know honestly i'm really happy with the card i've got i'm asking everyone to defend left lane oh actually the, the minions will be there I'm, I'm begging everyone, I don't want the tower to fall now. Oh no. But look how much damage they do, they can clear this wave so quickly. Oh my god, look at this wave. This must be it. They're, they're not- why are they not pushing the tower? I think they're just so scared of rotations. I think they must be. But anyway, we're gonna be focusing all our damage on um, these two siege minions. It's on a quarter health. All right, I'm, I'm gonna set a new goal. If I can get it to 30 minutes without this tower going down, that's a win, okay? I'm changing it a little bit. This is tower defense, but if we can get to 30 minutes, I'll, I'll be a happy guy, which we should be able to do. I'm just gonna push this lane as crazy as I can. I just really hope from the base that after that. All right, so I've just backed off. 
We're 27 and a half minutes in the game. All I did was just push the left tower and help a bit mid lane. Nothing really else happened. But we kept the same cards. I, 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 I don't know. I'm just like, I can spend on anything, but I just didn't think I would really get this far. It's more of a early to mid game nuisance build, but we do have some late game cards we'll focus on in a bit. But in the meantime, I'm just going to farm here. It's really easy now. now. We're definitely really doing well. We should attack or prime and finish this honestly I don't see why not I, I have so many points in intellect my mana regen is on another level they don't even need my help here we could try and attack this Murdoch we could do that problem is like this is the problem with Iggy I can't just go in and do big damage I've got to place turrets down it's got to be an issue I'll try let's try Oh, he's behind me. He's behind me. He's behind me. Alright, we got it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my, I don't know what's happening, but... Okay, okay. Go on, die, 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 die. I'm ulting, I'm ulting. Come on. That slow should be so much damage. That slow should be doing the same damage. And it is. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no! My tower! No! Oh no! The wave Murdoch was pushing and wasn't... I, I didn't notice it. I just focused so much on the kills. Oh! It wasn't even 30 minutes. 29 and a half. It was probably a bit less than that. Oh no! That's game over. Surrender. GG it now, guys. We're out. That's it. Game over. <laughs> Uh, so at the end of the day, the tower's demise was my fault. No one else's, it was mine. I was the one that destroyed that tower in the end. But that means we can get rid of brilliant fortification, we, we don't need it now. We can get, um, what do we want? Let's try rampant spells, should we? Yeah, let's go rampant spells and let's go... Let's just keep green spin, I, I, I don't see why not. Uh, I could get the sentry. Let's get a sentry. I don't. I don't think I really need to regen anymore. Flame result is a bit pointless at this point, really. So we're going to rotate to left lane now. So basically, what Malik Nash does is the 13 intellect card I just bought is basically when I do ability damage, or it may just be damage itself. But when I do damage to an enemy, that means I can I deal a percentage of extra damage to them, and that can stack up to eight times. So it basically means if I can keep people inside my turret range with the slow. I can just do insane damage and I can just keep them where I want them, do loads of damage over time and just be an absolute pain. Which is going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, we should be ending the game now. Unfortunately my tower is up. We're 5, 2 and 7. We have a huge lead on these time. Um, come on, where's he gone? Oh, I'm going to put this wall down. Come on, come on, come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's down there somewhere. He's down there somewhere, guys. Shit. Damn it. Maybe it wasn't the best place to put the ward. I should have waited a little, but he was so low. No, nope, never mind. I think he went into another ultimate. I think he did just go into an... I, I don't know what happened. I, th I, I think uh, uh, Kalari just ulted and that was it. Because Kalari can see everyone when she ults. Uh, let's go some vitality now. We've honestly got as much uh, intellect as we're ever going to need. And we should be ending the game now. We've taken down this inhibitor. I didn't, but our team did. We've got a huge wave pushed in here. So while that wave is going to be pushed, I mean, that's a huge wave. Uh, they've got a Wook on, though. So that's a bit of a problem. Except for that, all we're going to do now, I think, is just put pressure on mid lane and try and end the game. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to slowly set up a siege area. Due to my regen being really, really high on my mana, I can pretty much place a turret down and get the regen back from that turret's mana usage before I can place another one down. That's how good my mana regen is now. So I could just spam turrets without a problem. I got a ward down as well. You know, counter building as you should in the version 42, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case a Kalari comes out of nowhere. We're going to use an ult here to absolutely shred them. Even though it's just out of range of some of them. It's just a huge, huge factor. 
Uh, I don't know if the... Well, ward's still here. We've got loads of wards, actually. I think someone else on our team must have a ward as well. So I'll push it a bit differently, actually, spot. Well, like I said, exactly there. Kalari can't do anything. We know where the Kalari's going to be in this area. And there's no one better like Iggy. Once I get three turrets down, it's, it's game over at this point. I can just keep slowly putting these turrets up and not have a problem. So again, we're going to slowly put these turrets down, try and lock it down. I can't really push this by myself. I've got to stay near my turrets. Basically, I'm going to be a complete and utter nuisance while they try and do anything else. This is literally my area now. This is my zone. Yeah, that's it. That must be GG. We're pretty much going to push this lane. Into it. Left lane's been pushed. Right in here is about to go down. This should be the end of the game. Look at those minion waves. Unfortunately, it didn't try and even attempt to take down my Iggy turret fortress, but it does not matter. As that should be the end of the game. I'm ulting. Oh my god. That Kalari damage. Uh, fuck it. Let, let, let's finish the game. There we go. Oh my word, that was one hell of a fun game there. Wow. That was a game of really two halves. The first half was Iggy, Tank, Sustainability, keep that tier 1 tower up. And it was really fun to do. Iggy is one of the best offlaners now with the right kit and the right strategy. And I was able to keep that tier 1 tower up until my own stupidity let it fail while I killed the enemy team. Which I, you know, I think sort of worth it, but unfortunately the tier 1 tower did fall. But that was at 30 minutes. I was able to deny the Murdoch and FaZe continuous farm bully. But it was not just me. I can't take all the credit. The Kalari and the Morgan both of them worked extremely well and were amazing at rotating to my lane at the right moments like they should especially Kalari should be being putting pressure heavily on them because as an Iggy once I'm able to level up a bit I am pretty much unstoppable in that off lane and I proved it there that game then to the mid to late game I, it went for more of a damage build and it worked wonders showed really how Iggy can not just defend lanes but also siege lanes exceptionally well amazing game that was super fun as i said at the start of the video please do check out my narbus carry build and gameplay live commentary if you want to as well and also do join my discord down below and in the comments also do let me know how you enjoyed this live commentary what i can change about it is it too long is it too short do you like how it's edited or not please do let me know and also what kind of decks you want me to do next with certain heroes mostly talk about that in the discord link of the discord is in the description below like i said i'm gonna shut up now thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all next time